Hey guys, um, I am gonna start shit with you in a second. Um, I kind of wanted to show you what I've been doing lately. Um, do you hear that owl? Oh my god. Okay, stop. You know how I feel about the birds. Stop. Okay. Um, hi. Don't I look just like nice? Like, don't I just look like a very nice? Like, I'm just like very nice. See what I mean? Like. I don't know. I don't feel like that. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Um, anyway, hi. Um, okay, so before I get started, you guys know that I went in yesterday um, to have my spots removed on my face because I have like these dark spots are already lighter. <laughs> they haven't even flaked off and they're already way lighter. You guys can see from last week. Um, you guys know I always go to my nurse, the same one I always go to. Um, at RAS Medical, um, you guys know, I've been going to the same person. She's like moved around a couple times, but um, since the beginning, like no one else has ever touched my face. Anyway, um, there, so you guys, I always tell you that if you wanna go in, just tell them that I sent you. I know they're doing like some really good deals right now on what I did, which is IPL, lasers, um, fillers, Botox, everything. Just tell them I sent you. I don't get paid from this. I don't. I've just been going them forever and they're really nice and generous to me. So I offer to shout them out. Um, they are in LA and like, I don't jump around in different, you know, um, some like spas or whatever it's called, doctor's offices. I never do that. Like I always go to the person that I trust. So if you want to look as young as me. I mean, a lot of you guys can't because you're ugly as fuck and just rats, so don't even bother. But if you want to look young, because I'm like 38, do you know what I mean? Like you would never know that. You can say that I don't look 30. You can say I look 40 something, like you're dumb, okay? Like we all know it's not true. Are you blind, okay? Anyway, go to someone you trust. You should go to the person I go to because you look good, okay? Like duh, stop, okay? Anyway, so tell them I called you. I'll put the information below, but if you're looking for somewhere to go or, I also, I'm really excited about this IPL too. I'm not talking too much, but I'm really excited about the IPL because I thought it was just for stain, like spot removal, but apparently it's like collagen, um, promoting and fine lines, everything. Like it addresses a lot, like it's like skin discoloration. So I'm really excited to see, I'm going to go in for another treatment too. Like she said to come, she also did my chest. So I don't know. I'm excited. It's the first time I've ever done this and yeah. Um, so I'll put the information, I always put the information for the same place below, but you guys know, I know a lot of you guys do go there too. So, um, you probably are cute and successful and like you're smart and like not dumb. Okay. <sighs> Stop. Okay. Anyway, I'm much just hanging out. So I'm kind of like awkward. All right. So I want to show you guys what I'm doing, um, with this like outfit. Okay. Stop. I am very basic right now. We know this. I just lip, I'm obsessed with like being basic. I don't know what it is. Like, I just like love being basic. I think it's just like something I'm, okay, can't, we'll, we'll get into it. I have so much to tell you guys about. Talk to you guys about. Um, okay, my tits out, my tits like out, stop. All right, um, stop. I need, there's like this thing in the way, hold on. I'm scratching the floor, fuck, okay. All right, so let me just show you guys. Do you guys know these are the Amazon outfits? I'm not gonna lie. These are the Amazon outfits. I'm gonna fucking try to front. Like, I don't give a fuck. Um, I have, a, I have, tape on there because it's it's like when it's one of those lights when you walk in it turns on I'm like no um i'm not gonna say why it's in my bathroom long story don't be like what is that it's tape okay it's just fucking tape shut up if you don't, like what is that you know like it's fucking tape because i it's like blackout tape i don't do that okay so this is what i've been doing like this is from amazon um and let me show you what i do like i don't know why i do this now um okay i literally just filmed like everything <laughs> And wasn't recording, so I have to just over. Okay. Um, hold on, I'm gonna start over now. I gotta undo these pants because not okay. Let me just adjust myself. Okay, so this is like how I wear tux now. I kind of just do one side and I really push it over so that like it's weird. It's like because you can see I'm not fat. You know what I mean? Like, hold on, where am I? Like, you can like see I'm not like you know, I'm, I'm really fat right now. You we know that. But like, I'm not like fat, okay? I'm fat for me, stop, you know what I mean? So, um, then when you're walking, like I, brought, I wear a bra, obviously. <sighs> um, so the bra might show, but like you can, when you're walking, like you can see that like, you're not that fat, like there's some like skin like to it like that, you know what I mean? So I do like that also, um, come closer because I don't want to flush my boobs. Okay, I also roll up the short. 
like if I just like kind of feel because I have like good legs but like at the same time I'm like 38 so I'm trying not to be like 12 like you know I'm 21 like it's kind of but I'm not I'm like sorry you know what I mean like I don't know so I don't this is like what I wear um and no we're not doing the old way with the old this is like okay Okay, we're now not tucking like the old way. Do you remember how we do like this half tuck thing? Whatever, I'm not buttoning it up, but this half tuck thing like that. Like, I can't explain it. Okay, it's dumb, but I'm a little, okay. Now, it's hairdresser and it's like just dumb. It's dated, you're dated, okay? Just like stop. So, okay, do I slush it, flush it, okay. So, like, even if you're like really fat, um, don't do the half tuck. Just do like that. Like, just tie, like, I don't know, just do like one button. Just do that, like, you don't have to do the half tuck. If you're like super fat, like you don't have to. Do you know what I mean? Okay, hold on. Okay, then I just really wanted to show off some like blazers. Remember those blazers I told you guys in my last video that I got from um, Off Sacks? I just love them. Like, we haven't, okay, imagine these with skinny shorts, not with this kit. We're like, you know, skinny shorts. Um, they're, okay, I'm like the blazer queen, you know that? Like, I. Anything about a, a boyfriend blazer is me. It is me. If you haven't been here for, for a while, you don't get it. Just go away. I'm not explaining to you. You're useless little shit. Okay, so. So, um, I love this one. I like, I don't usually like white because I'm like fat. So I feel like a snowman. I just like to wear black usually, but I'm trying to like wear colors. I don't know why I look psycho. Okay, but like here is the, and I like the way it has like that draw, even though I'm not gonna, really dry maybe like a little bit like that um with like black boyfriend blazers or um with black you guys are irritating me um bike shorts like skinny shorts okay but don't you love this okay this is from like it's like halston i think but so cute okay i have to show you this fucking boyfriend blazer i bought i'm just gonna show you okay so i bought this it's saxon avenue brand like what is that it's giving ross like any like, there's no such thing as sax avenue brand like you can only find that at, at off sax like that um okay but it is i got the large and it was 65 dollars with like 25 percent off i'm not even, i'm not i wasn't even looking for the deal i told you like my mom wanted to go get sunglasses and then we just like i saw these there I wasn't even shopping for clothes, but this is like the best fitting blazer ever. Like, oh my God, there are just blazers. Okay, you don't get it. I have never seen anyone wear good blazers. They suck. I, do you know those like really expensive blazers that people buy by Frankie shop? Um, I bought one and I returned it immediately. It's disgusting, okay? I don't get it. Like, it looks like shit. Go to the thrift store and get one, it's better. Stop, hold on, I'm, gonna, I'm really on one, like, hold on. Okay, so welcome to the best blazer that I have found in the fucking longest time, okay, ever. Let me, okay, let me show you. When I'm looking for a blazer, um, let me just go look at myself in the mirror. When I'm looking for a blazer, this is like, this, like the move I do, I don't know why, it just lays perfectly. Do you see how it does not have a shape to it? At the same time, it's not huge and boxy. Like I can button it so it's just lays like that. But at the same time I can like undo it and like wear a bralette or like whatever. I'm very white right now. Um, like I f it's the best fucking blazer ever. They're hard to find. Like they used to be where Zara was the place to get them. Then like there's nowhere to get anyone. I am so happy and the buttons are not like tacky gold. They're just like little tortoise shell. It's not a big deal. They're just buttons. You know what I mean? Like it's not a big deal. Like it's not a big to do where like the attraction is to catch what a nice blazer this is. And like me, cause I'm pretty and like my jewelry stack. Do you see what I mean? Like I don't like a lot of like weird hardwares on clothes because this is the attraction. You know what I mean? Like, okay, stop. Hey, okay. So my hair is like literally blue. Do you didn't see that? Like what the heck? It's so, it's too like cool. At the same time, like I don't like it when it's too warm. I just, whatever it is, what it is. I'm. Anyway, if you hear noises, it's because I we're having a lot of construction done on the house right now. On the outside, we are um, doing like a whole new hardscape patio um, because there was like really nothing before. Um, and we're doing like, what's it called? Like Salcedo tiles, like those like Spanish style terracotta tiles, like really nice. I would like that nice 
kind of glossed finish. It's like really authentic, very Hacienda, very like just typical Spanish style classic, like 1940s old Hollywood Spanish home um, with like all of like the Spanish influence and which I love so much, like the machine vibe and like just really, really like charming. I'm really excited. And then we're also doing like gates for the, the animals inside gates and we're doing a huge wall like a massive like enclosure um what's it called like compound kind of thing um so yeah that's what we're doing um right now so if you hear any noises because of that even though i think they might be at lunch i'm not sure i see them but like they're not a lot of people okay stop anyway just a morning because you guys know how i feel about noises okay stop um anyway so i i'm sitting here with my coffee you guys remember this okay so I don't care. Like, I'm not gonna be like, what do you want to talk about in the future? Because I just don't ever listen to you. Okay, do you know what I mean? Um, okay. Um, so I just I'm starting to feel like this hair is kind of aging me. It's almost too serious, like I can't explain it. It's too harsh. I, I personally think, I think I just used like a color that was just too harsh for me. Um, these are my wedding pearls. Do you guys remember that? A lot of you guys love these. I wore a stack of these. This is like the larger size and I have like a smaller millimeter size. And then every so often there's an AB pearl, uh, sorry, an AB crystal. Do you see how it just like kind of like picks up the light just every so often. And then on the smaller millimeter pearl size, there's a moonlight, um, AB pearl. It's so pretty to stack them. I love them so much this is my um candle this is my cathedral glow with all these little crosses everywhere and right in the middle of each cross there's a little uh crystal and then the chain itself is so sparkly okay and then this is also real these are all both real pearls genuine pearls this is also another pearl necklace that's half chain and pearls and then there's like different ways to layer it and to attach it because there's like another um, clasp down here that opens and you can wear it as a necklace or a lariat. I love this. In fact, that it's real pearls. And then my nail head cross and my pave sacred heart is what I'm wearing today. I just love just layering and stacking. It's just really cool and effortless. And I like the pearls, like pretty. I seem like a very nice person. Okay. I actually am stop. You guys. Okay. Okay. Sorry. This table is like, um, needs to be centered. Okay. Stop. So we're going to get into it today with just some like tea that you guys, just, I feel like no one will talk about. Everyone's just like, loves to kiss everyone's asshole, like up and down. It's like literally lick it. It's so gross. Like I'm just so sick of it. No one called that. Like, um, okay. I want to, I've been wanting to talk about this and I'm not trying to like bash anyone. So I don't do that actually by name. I'm not saying that she's wrong at all. I'm saying she's correct. And I like her, like, I really like how she's very real, but she's same time. I feel like you guys, like you're not understanding. Okay. So. Who's that new girl that's all over TikTok and everything goes like sprinkle, 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 or something like that, sprinkle, sprinkle. I can't even say it how she does it. Like sprinkle, sprinkle. I can't even fucking say it. Like when I, I'm not, you know what I mean? Like I don't copy people. Like when people try to copy, it's bad. So it's just like sprinkle, sprinkle. But the way she says it is weird. It's like sprinkle, sprinkle. I can't even do it, right? So I think, I don't know what, who she is or what, what she is as far as like just gives advice, which I love because that's how I am too. And I like her like no bullshit attitude. Um, you know, it's good. I'm not going to like get into my opinions or anything. I'm just here to like, cause I don't, the advice that she gives is, is good. Like, but it's so bad. Okay. And I don't give a fuck. I'm just coming here because like, you guys know, I'm more of like the Dr. Laura, the, um, Kevin Samuels mindset. Okay. I feel like they are like really good, like people who are, I have like, trusted and learned over the years and that's who I usually take my advice from okay and I don't need you guys to be like whatever like your divorce like you know all the things that you think it's not the point like the point is like it's what I'm telling you is correct okay and you don't have to like my life my life is amazing okay but whatever so this thing is a sprinkle sprinkle girl okay she knows that she's this is this is the problem with today's like women like and I actually posted something on Instagram this morning it's so true like everyone just thinks they're so worth um, everything and they're like so hot and perfect and I think it's because like we are on Instagram and social media and like we have people like kissing our asses all the time right we're like oh my god like you're so perfect I love you so much like we always get accolades and we get a lot of hate too right but like we can edit our photos and we can just we just like are delusional we're actually delusional 
So this sprinkle sprinkle girl, like she will, um, like, I guess she'll take, I guess it's a live or something. And people ask her questions, which I would love to do, but I'm not doing lives because I've done lives before. And like, you guys go crazy. It's typically the gay boys who irritate me. And I told you, I will not like you just because you're gay. No, I'm not like that. I will not lick your asshole because you're gay. I'm not like that. I don't do groups. No, I don't. And typically gay boys can be very obnoxious when they start to like get into a group. Calm the fuck down. Do not tell me to say something. I will never say something. If I like you for you, I will absolutely back you up 100%. Get the fuck off of my page. We've been over this multiple times. I'm not, I'm not starting with your attitude today, okay? No, I'm not. I'm sick of that. I love the, I'm the last person who's going to be like, oh yeah, why do I have something in my nose? Okay. I hate that. Like, why do I have something in my nose? You know what I mean? Stop. So this sprinkle sprinkle girl, I think she like gets people like asking her questions. Like, um, what do I do? So her whole thing is like, you need to marry a man that's rich, no matter what you need. The only thing that matters in life is the, is whether is that the man has money. It doesn't matter if he's ugly, if he's ugly, put a bag over his head. She's like that kind of shit, which is funny as fuck. I love her out. I love her like content, what she says, like the clips that I see on TikTok. but like, no bitch, like you're talking to people who are ugly. Like, what are you talking about? You think that these ugly ass bitches without a pot to piss in without one thing to offer deserve that? Are you okay? Like, do you see what I mean? Like, no, I'm not talking to her because I, I do like her, but I'm not trying to like the same thing with like talking about Lana. I like Lana, so I'm not going to diss her, even though there's some things I can say that should be said, you know what I mean? That are obvious that I'm not going to say, cause I actually like her and I don't like to diss people I like. I just don't. So I'm not going to go there. But like with this girl, I'm not doing that. I'm just going back to the thing where nowadays women think that like the only thing in the world that is important is to marry a rich man. Excuse me. Why do you think you deserve that? Do you think you're ever going to get a rich man? Why the fuck would a rich man want you? Do you see what I mean? You're not hot. You're not, unless you're a fucking 10, you're not going to marry a rich man probably. Okay. Like it's, it's really to me like very, um, hurt. why do I feel like there's literally something in my motherfucking nose that keeps on appearing, but it's not there. I get very irritated by that. Okay, stop. Like, there's nothing in my fucking nose. God, like, I'm gonna have a fucking meltdown. I just wanna film. Like, I don't need to be interrupted by a mysterious shadow or something in my nose. Okay. Um, so I don't know who this bitch is talking, this girl is talking to, but she's like, oh, like, you need to leave your man right now. Like, whatever, like, all that matters is like, um, is like the money thing. Like, uh, you know, like I, it's just so wrong because it's so impossible. It's not possible for you. Like I'm talking about the 90% of us who are not going to like get like some rich fucking man. Like, I mean, it's not impossible, but she's talking to the masses, the masses. It's not going to happen. You know what I mean? Like the masses are, it's not going to happen. What do you have to offer? A rich man can get whoever he wants basically. Like who the fuck are you? So she's steering people wrong. She's telling people to like leave their men. Like, you know what I mean? Like, no, actually you shouldn't. If you have a man and you're not hot and you don't have that much to offer, you should be fucking thankful that he's even fucking with you. That's what I really fucking believe because he can go out and get someone who's not a little ugly bitch like you, okay? Who probably give him a fucking blow job, which you're not fucking doing. Do you know what I mean? Like there needs to be people who will like talk about this reality. Like I'm telling you right now, the best thing in the world for you to do, if you are a normal person, like a normal average girl is to marry a nice man. Okay. Marry a nice man and create a life together, a home, whatever it is, whether it's an apartment, whether it's a small house, whether it's anything, create a home together. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter about the money. It really doesn't matter. About the money. Yeah. I'm one to talk, but like, because I made my own ways, I'm a different situation, but I'm saying when I can overall, like see the whole big picture and everything after, after being in a previous marriage and now a marriage now, I am telling you, I promise you, happiness is in being with a man who loves you and creating a home together. Like that is the important thing. The money is nothing. Like she's like, yeah, the money. She's always saying the sprinkle, sprinkle girl is always saying like, in the end, money is the only thing that matters because that may be that that may be the case. But these girls aren't going to get men with money. So why are we steering them the wrong way? These are you're talking to the masses who are just going to need to find nice men that love them and can probably tolerate them because they're irritating, woke, and stupid probably stupid women 
stupid women, okay? Because women are stupid. You know how I feel about women. I don't typically like women. I don't celebrate Women's Day. I don't like Women's Day. It's stupid. Women are very weak and dumb, okay? And so now you're going to go and you're going to, you think you're all that. So you're going to go and like diss every man until you find a rich man when you're never going to find because he can get someone. To, any rich man is not going to choose you, bitch. Unless you are that one, he's not going to choose you. So you're wasting your time. You're wasting your life. You're wasting your age. Like you're wasting the best. Find someone who's a genuine person who's more like your caliber and what you want and stop. I don't know. That's why I have, I'm like, every time I watch her, I'm like, oh my God, I need to respond to this somehow. But like, I don't want to like get into like Instagram or like, what's it called? Like internet battles. It's so stupid. Like I don't respond to retardation. Like, I don't do that. Like I don't care. Um, but I just wanted to talk about that. And yeah, so I just want to give you guys, because you guys know I love to do the Ask Alex thing. And like a lot of people are like looking for men with money. Like, I'm sorry, let me see your fucking photo. Like, how much do you weigh? What's your dress size? As Kevin Samuels would say, Dr. Laura would say, are you fat, ugly, or stupid, or useless? Like, which one is it? Like, we need to be honest with ourselves, okay? Look at yourself in the damn mirror and be honest with yourself. Like, what do you have to offer over the next girl? Are you hotter than the next girl? Do you know what I mean? Probably the fuck not. Like, I'm just being honest. Because there's no honesty nowadays. Like a 400 pound girl is like, I deserve everything and more. You know what I mean? Like, bitch, no, actually that is not true. And stop having your friends tell you're fucking, you look good. Do you know what I mean? It's bullshit. I'm over the clown world. Yes, I am. Um, do you see my face doesn't look so bad today? Like, I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe I have, I don't know if I'm slipped down. You're like, oh my God, like, last time you asked my, your cheeks were out of control. My cheeks aren't out of control. Actually, to be honest, that last video, I got so many hate comments about how fucking ugly I am and like how my cheeks are so big. I'm like, fuck, like maybe there's like somewhere that people are telling people to come and like comment that I'm ugly. I don't know because, but then I was like, I did watch my video back. I was like, yeah, I did look like, I did look bigger. Like, but I really haven't gotten any injections I would tell you guys I literally am just fat like it's true but then today I don't look that bad like I don't know whatever so I even went, I even went in the office and I was like Judy I was like wait because she's like really really honest do I do I look like really bad in person like do I, have I if something she's like no you know I tell you like you don't look like that whatever okay either way so I really don't but like whatever okay so I just want to clarify that because I'm defending myself. Yes, I am. Okay, stop. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about um, is, okay, I know that you guys are going to get all pissed about this. this is Sophia Rich, the Sophia Richie thing. Um, I like her wearing, I don't, it's not just her. It's all these new loser celebrities. Like, she's nothing. Why? Because she was Lionel's, R R Lionel Richie's daughter and she's like cute. So she's like the new starlet. Like, she's always been the star, whatever. It's irritating. It's fine that you guys can look up to someone, but she's not, like, I'm just tired of this. Like, this thing where all these these rich little fucking brats, like, you know, from their, like, money from their parents kind of thing, like, end up marrying some, like, crazy other rich person. Well, it's fine, you know, but then they, and then they end up wearing some, like, some hot, some hot haute couture or whatever thing from, like, the 90s that, what was her name, like, Claudia Schiffer wore. And then she says, no, it's blasphemy. It's like when fucking disgusting Kim Kardashian wore Marilyn Monroe's dress. Get the fuck out of here. It's blasphemous. Like, it's literally like sacrilegious, dude. Like, no, you know, you, you, you ruined it. You killed it in a bad way. It's fine that you wore it, but like, no, you're not Claudia Schiffer. You never will, will, will be. You're nothing. You're talentless. You're just a person. You're a human that was like born into a like a rock star father. Okay. Like, I'm sorry. Okay, that's it. Like, I don't know. I just feel like really special things should be saved for really special events. Like the coronation coming up with Prince, with Prince Charles is going to become the King. There are things set aside that the monarch does, right? Like there's like the crowns and the scepters and things that are only worn for certain events. Once every time a new person is coronated, like why do we just frivolously let people do shit? Like, I don't know. It, it bothers me. Like, no, you, you may have looked cute in the dress, but you ruined it. Okay. Like now it's just dumb. I don't like it. It bothers me. Like there's no, there's no holiness in anything anymore. Can we not like, like that, what like Claudia Schiffer, like wore that dress, like amazingly down the runway in the nineties. And now this little twit is wearing that to her wedding. Like, okay, great. And everyone's like fawning over it. Now he's like, yeah. like, it's like, okay, great. Like she's cute and she's pretty. And like, she's like the new thing, but like, what has she done other than been like, popped out of like some celebrity's twat. You know what I mean? Like, great. Okay. 
I just don't get it. Like, I don't, there's so many other people to like look up to. I have never been, I have never been a celebrity fan ever. I don't even, people will tell me like, oh, so-and-so from Glee or something. I don't even know. This, this happened yesterday. And I'm like, who? Like, I don't know anyone. I, I, I don't. I know like big people like Jennifer Aniston. Like, I, I, I don't know little, I, I hate Hollywood. It's trash. It's garbage. It's losers. It's fake. It's like every single, the Met thing, like every fucking woke leftist piece of shit. Was there anyone of like a normal sane mind there who was cool that we would like, it's just sick. I'm over it. Like I know I'm probably totally the minority in this. Everyone's a follower, po poser, loser. Um, and I'm just going to be up, up front blunt with it. Okay. I'm just going to be a fucking blunt with it. And it's the truth. So I'm the only one that will be upfront and blunt with it. But yeah, it was like, great. So she wore that. Like everyone's like fucking dying over it. Like everyone's like coming about it. Like, oh, shut the fuck up. You're so exhausting. Like you literally are exhausting. You have no vibe. Like get your, get like, get off of the fucking, trying to just be, agree with what everyone else is saying. Have some like critical thinking skills. Like I wanted to tweet something the other day, but I just didn't like, no, I want, I think I would rather, because Twitter is like, I don't feel like I get to like see a bunch, all the people I like on there. Like you guys are like more on here than Twitter. So, um, I was like, I, I figured I was, I'm just going to like save it until I talk to them on here. Um, but I just really like, I want so badly to speak more. Like I really do want so badly to speak more. Like if I could speak more and not get in trouble and not give a fuck about like losing my platform or like, you know what I mean? I would, but I just can't, I'm not big enough. I, I really don't understand people okay actually before i start this i'm gonna say something else i really i've been before i forget because i've been very forgetful lately i think i have like dementia okay um all right so i have okay i'm done like i'm not doing this anymore with people like i don't like I'm, i i like people but i don't like people i'm really real like i'm not the kind of person who's gonna fake fake phony around like i just don't so leave me alone i it really bothers me it really really bothers me when i see people who i know have like the same thought process as I do, belief system and stuff, and they don't like support. It bothers me, okay? Because I see that you're, I'm calling people out like left and right. I'm not calling anyone out usually, like, but don't talk to me. I see that you're supporting people. Like, I'm just gonna start out and say it. If you are like, if you like me and like, you know I put my like, my neck on the line and you know that I like speak the truth and there's no one out there with a, like, I'm no one. I have, I'm no one. Like I literally, you guys think I have like rich or whatever. I'm not rich. I'm just like, whatever. I've done well for myself, but like, I'm not like, I don't come from money. I don't have a ton of money. I literally could like lose this like platform and be done. You know what I mean? Who knows? Well, never. I'll always be back. But you know what I mean? Like I put my, for anyone who's as small as me, I do take a lot of risks, right? To like speak the truth and to try to like wake people up and just be like, no, cause I just can't like, wow, how can you not say something? Okay. So there are a lot of people out there who like really like what I have to say and agree with me and like always like try to like, oh my God, I love what you do, but you never support me. You don't support my line, but I see that you support other like woke leftist line. I see it. I see you. I, I see. I'm not stupid. And then you like want to be friends, but you don't support my line. It's not cool. Like it's really not cool. You need to support people who you like and who you agree with and align with. It's very important, okay? Not money. Do you think like a $50 order matters? It doesn't matter. It's not a shit in the fucking wind, a fart in the wind, as they would say. It is the fact that you, I feel like we, like you are supporting someone who is trying, is, we're on the same page. Like I would support you. Do you know what I mean? Like if you were doing something like that, there is like, it's, and I see that you're out there and I see that you are supporting major, major woke leftist, crazy lunatic, like, people who have jewelry lines or whatever, but not me. Like, it's not right. I'm not, it's not like, like I told you, it's not like my, my jewelry is not expensive, right? It's handmade. A lot of it is most, I do have like real 14 K 10 K things too, but a lot of it's handmade gold fill and costume, right? I mean, the, the pearls are real. Everything is beautiful jewelry, but it's not super expensive, right? It's affordable. So there's no reason why people don't want it every once in a while support. And I'm not talking about people, the general, like you guys out there. I'm talking about like people who try to be my friend, who I know are like in the same mindset as me. Do you see this? Go away. You're a fake bitch. I really think it's fake. I don't like it. Like I, I, I don't like it. It's, it really is hurtful to me. I'm telling you, it's not the money. It's not the, the, the $50 order or whatever. It's that you're, you're, I, I don't, why not? Like, why not? It, it's, I, 
you like jewelry. I know you guys like jewelry. You like, there's something in my line that you like. You don't want to support. It's not cool. I don't like it and I'm calling it out. I don't want to like, I, I don't want to be friendly with phony people. I will never be friendly with phony people. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. I'm going to start doing the finger thing. I leave me the fuck alone. You are a phony bitch. Okay. So that's the truth. I'm sick of it. Like I don't just leave me alone. And I wanted this message to go out to everyone out there. Like you need to be a supporting people and small business and like restaurants and things of people in your town of people who you align with. Like, you know, of course we're going to always support big, big, big business. We have to like Amazon, like Nordstrom, things like that. Cause it's just like, they have like what we need, but like, you also need to remember to support the people that you align with. It's really fucking important. Plus it's like, it gives them a pat on, it gives them like, like the assurance that like you're there behind them. Do you know what I mean? That's all, that's more what it is. Like when I tell you, like every time a small business gets an order in, you do a happy dance. Like I've seen that and it's so true, but more when it's like someone that you know supports you. It's like, it's a nice feeling. Okay. Not when you like see them out there supporting the woke leftists who they hate and they talk shit on, but they're supporting them, which is fine too, because they like their, their, like their designs. But like, do you see, okay, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm, it pisses me off and I've, I've had enough. I'm not a phony person. I'm a very like real person. I don't care. I don't like friends. I don't like people. I like real people. I'm, and I'm doing this Britney Spears thing lately because I'm getting even more crazy. I swear to God. And what I said about Britney Spears was hundred percent correct. Go watch my video. It's your fault. It's your fault. The, she is the way she is. You can re review my video. Everyone got mad at me about that, especially the gay boys. They literally started like coming in their pants about, it. I don't care. I will always speak the truth. So shut the fuck up. Okay. Anyway, I forgot what I was saying before. See, I forgot, but I really wanted to get this in there because I like knew it was important because it's something I've been wanting to think. Because I want Oh yeah, this is so now going on to this. So this is also bothers me so much. There are so many people out there who have uh, so much money, right? They have nothing to fucking lose. They have nothing to lose yet. They will not say one thing. Like they've got family backing. They've got like um, it doesn't matter. Like they have they have no fear, right? It doesn't matter. Like for me. If I say one wrong thing, like if I said anything wrong, I could just go down in flames. Who knows? Even though I don't care because I don't give a fuck about cancel culture. I'll just keep coming back. I don't give a fuck. Like even if I said like something really bad, I would still come back. I don't care. Um, but like I do take, like I said, I take, I take a lot of risks. Um, it, see, I lost my train of thought. Fuck. What was I saying? Fuck, I'm like seriously have dementia lately. What the fuck? Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you right now, you will know. If I ever hit the big time, if I ever hit the big time, I'm talking about five mil. If I make, if I, if I hit five mil mark, if I make $5 million, it's over. It's over for you bitches. I'm going down. Okay. I will speak you. I will tell the truth about everything. I can hardly shut up now. Wait until if it happens, if it ever happens, like it needs to happen. Some like rich person out there needs to like, just give me the money so that I can just say, no, 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 I'm kidding. I'm just totally kidding. But the, I swear to God, like, I think I'm going to give myself like a threshold. The moment that I reach a certain amount where I think that I don't have to, like, I can just be comfortable and like happy. And like, because I realize for me, it's not money. Like I want to be comfortable and nice. I like want to be able to do what I want to do. I don't want to like worry about and you know money, but at the same time, I don't need like a billion dollars. You know what I mean? I don't need like twenty million dollars. I'm not like I don't need that. You know what I mean? I have like I don't need that. I'm gonna go into this later. But like the moment that I get to a certain threshold, it's over. It's over because I'm not afraid. Like I'm not afraid. I like have bigger balls than anyone that you've ever fucking known. I swear to God, I don't know what it is. Like there's something wrong with me. I think I told you I'm trans. Like I'm probably a man. Like I don't know what it is. But like. I will speak out and I want to tell the truth so bad about shit, like what I think and the actual truth, because no one will say anything like I want to. And the moment that I don't have to worry about, you know, like money, because I know that like I, the moment that I know that I can't fuck up, do you know what I mean? It's over. Yes, it is. And you know what? I will. It, it will fix things. It will fucking fix things because people will be able to wake up to it if I can actually be honest and like truthful and like not get in trouble. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Um. So I just wanted to, I wanted to tweet the other day, like, dude, the moment I make $5 million, it's over because I'll be able to tell the truth. Like I, I will feel comfortable at that point, but like, I don't understand why people who have the money already don't do that. Like you already have the money and you already are pissed off about the way things are. Why don't you just come out? You don't have, you, you don't have nothing. You have nothing to lose. It's like, why don't you do something with that, with that power? Do you know what I mean? Okay. I don't know. Um, 
But yeah, anyway, I was sitting here today, this morning, and I was thinking to myself, dude, I haven't been to like the mall in a long time. Like I'm wearing Amazon outfits. Like I'm going to like, like antique stores and like vintage, vintage stores and flea markets. Like I, I need like something. And I thought I, whenever I think about going to the mall, I run my run through my head. Okay. Where would you go? Like Fendi, like Prada, Mew Mew, like one of those maybe. But I sit here, you guys, I sit here like, I'm going to, I don't know. I, I really don't want anything. I want, I don't know. Everything is so disgusting. Like you guys, I don't, did it, is it DH gate that ruined everything? Like, what is it where I don't even want to see a designer bag? Like there, I have not thought about a designer bag in, you guys know, honest, honest to God. Like, I don't know what to do because I am like in a such a different mindset lately where my life is just like, I, I don't, I can't even see myself at the mall. Like I can't even see myself going to South Coast Plaza. Like, why, what am I going to do? Like get some bag that I don't, if they're all ugly, there, nothing is a vibe. Like every fucking loser has one. Like it's not, it's not, nothing is sacred anymore. Just like with like Sophia Richie and like Kim Kardashian wearing like garments that like are just so much better than them. Nothing is fucking sacred. Just like people being able to willy nilly go and buy fucking like Chanel bags when that used to be like, some, a, you know, a very like difficult thing to get. And I could just go and like, who knows, offer up or like, I don't even know, what is it? Some kind of resale and buy a fucking bag. Just stop, we, we've been through this a million times. I'm not doing this. I don't know what to do, but like, I really wanted to go to the mall today and buy something, but like, I, I swear to God, I don't know what I would even think about getting. Everything is, is ruined. People on Instagram has made everything so tacky. I wouldn't be cut dead with a designer bag now. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to carry. I don't carry bags anymore. Like I actually hate them so much. They have been destroyed by nerds and by people with zero style that it's, it's so done. Like, I don't know what to do. Do you understand? Like you guys get it, right? Like, what are we going to do? I don't even, I don't even know what to do. Anyway, I want to like run that by you. I want to show you guys this. I can't even believe this. Like, look how pretty this is. These are roses from my garden. And I just keep on like picking them as they like bloom and just putting them in this little pot. Um, and I got this pot yesterday, actually, it's like this little jug and it has green. It's very, it's giving like Ralph's right. You know, like the coffee, I feel like the green and white is very Ralph's. It's really cute. It's very, just like, I love it. Um, anyway, how pretty are these? These are from my garden and I'm just like, I'm just so obsessed with like, do you see how like, this is not, this is like me right now. Like I told you, like, I, ugh, I don't know. Look at those roses. Those are not from my garden. Those are real. So pretty. Okay. I got this too. This is a, an ant, like a print of a rose. I don't know what, why I'm like, I'm, I just love roses. You guys remember back in like Brentwood when I had the rose bushes, I used to like have a rose like blue every once in a while. So I'm just happy to be able to have that again. Like I can't tell you how much I hate Newport and Newport Coast. Like I just can't even tell you. It's just so disgusting. Okay. So I got this, an antique print and it's really gorgeous. It has like, um, I don't know, whatever. I really like it. I got some other things too um, from like a flea market I went to this weekend. I need to stop with the flea markets because like it's kind of getting to be too much. Like I need, I'm like, the house is filling up. Okay, so you guys remember that? Do we take you on the house again? Should I? I don't know. Do, are we bored of this? I don't care. Uh, I got this. Um, it's a little antique frame. And I'm going to put our face, one my face here and his face here. And it's really cute. It's like an antique frame. I really like it. Um, there's like this, I, I like love Jason's face. I like I'm obsessed with his face. I sometimes I like want to like if I we're getting we don't fight a lot, <laughs> whatever. Um, but like sometimes I I can't even fight with him because I like his face. It's weird. Like I know his face is anyway. So I want to like put this, my favorite picture of his face in here. And then you know that one picture of me, uh, like it's like the one where I'm like um, I'm happy in my own misery. I love that photo of me. I'm gonna put that one here. So I'll show you guys when I'm done, when I'm done with it. But I gotta print them out. Um. Anyway, so the arch is done. They haven't painted it, but I'll show you guys. And I did it bull nose. Um, should I show you? Okay, I will. I did it bull nose and I decided that I'm not gonna, I think I'm just gonna, okay, I'll take you. I'll take you in there. Let's go. That's, okay. So the same way that my, um, the same way that my fireplace is bull nose, I did the same way. So it's not like, you guys know what bull nose is, okay? So the arch is finished. And I think I'm not gonna make that into a dining room. I think I'm gonna make it into 
like another den. I have this thing about my house because my other house was so unused. I didn't use any of it because it was just too big. It was too... Is it filming? Okay. Okay, sorry. Um, all right, so I told myself in this house, I would not have any part of the house unused. Like every part of my house is gonna be being me nice. Every part of my house is gonna be somewhere where I can sit and enjoy actually. Like that's why even in this living room, I put like that the frame TV that can be like a painting at times when like we're not using it because I wanna be able to use it. I don't want anything even formal. There's no point. I have, it's just him and I, and like soon to be hopefully a child, like it's not, you know, I, I don't want anything that I can't use. I, so a dining room doesn't make any sense, right? Like I'm not gonna use it. Like we barely even use the table over there. We usually sit at like my long island thing, you know, at the end of it or like, I don't know. Or I even sit on the couch and eat. Like I don't really, I don't like formalities. Like I'm just, com I like to be comfortable. So I think in there I'm gonna make it, I think I might paint it a color, like a dark color moody or like wallpaper and put like, I don't know, just because the doors are gonna open up outside to a patio. So I'm just gonna make it another lounge spot. I think I would use it more than a dusty, like formal dining room that's just gonna sit there. I mean, that was the original plan, but I just love the arch so much. Like I just feel like it's just so pretty. I wanna be in there. Like I wanna, I wanna, and then we're gonna, we're fixing that. We're gonna make this, a, we're gonna close the closet off and then you can enter from the other side. So there's just things happening, okay? All right, um, what else do I have to show you? <laughs> oh my God, okay. So you guys can see it now. I forgot that you didn't see it. Okay, I've been showing like, okay, it's in. Ta-da, okay, this is gross. I didn't know you made this is a cat's food. He loves to sit up here and eat. Okay, um, this is for you. So that, the panels aren't in for that yet, but that is in. I love it so much. Okay, let me move this. Well, whatever, you can move this. You can see it, right? Okay, so obsessed. I love it so much. The um, but uh, porcelain isn't in yet. So um, yeah, that's coming. And then like the porcelain's not there, not done there yet, but it's in and um, we, yeah. Okay, so fine. It's, and I actually used it. I, it's, I used it like a couple times. So it's whatever, I love it. Okay, what else? Um, I just have like so many things I can show you, but I think I'll just not, um, I think that'll be it. I don't know. So I don't know if I'm like going, I don't know. I really wanted to go to the mall. I don't know what to do. If I go, I'll show you guys what I buy. I, you guys, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know what to buy. I, I there's nothing like if whatever, I, I could, I don't know what I want. Like, I don't know what, there's nothing. Like, what are we, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know what, I don't know. I want, I wear Ugg boots. I wear little, Ugg, I wear Ugg boots. That's what I wear. Like, I just like that. I wear Ugg boots and like hot pink, hot pink yoga pants and like a sweater. Or I wear this with like my uh, my, Ugg pant, my Ugg boots. Like that's what I do. Like that's who I am now. I don't know who I am. I don't, I just want a bag, but what do I want? Do I want like maybe a big Longchamp tote? I have that big gray one already. Maybe that, I hate totes. I hate them so much. Like there's nothing, there's nothing. I, 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 I have a, a her bag maybe, no. I have two her bags. Like I don't use them. It's not, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't want to go walk around the mall. Like, I don't really want to go walk around the mall. I don't, it's not comfortable. It's like gross or something. And like the people are gross. Like, I don't, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Yes, you do. You know what I mean? Don't give me the attitude. Like, you mean so mean. Like, I can talk about you. Okay, um, so that's it. Okay, ooh, whoa. Um, all right, I will see you guys later. I think that's it. I'm, I'm probably forgetting everything. Okay, bye.